shoe here is your fine. So come, come on, tell us round that you want. Welcome to Sarah's Celebration Week Day 2. Um, rain delay. It's been raining all afternoon like torrential downpour, but we needed it here in Florida. Yeah. And it's just starting now, but we're at Disney Springs. If you yeah. couldn't tell by that awesome band. We are going to take some boat rides tonight. You know, I love them. And get some Giordali, wash our hands, see some of our favorite stores. I've been Jones to go to Sugar Boo for some he reason. Hasn't been about it so we're gonna go to Sugar Boo, maybe check out Time Bahama. Something like some classic window shopping tonight. And did I say free chocolate? Sarah's wanted, Sarah wanted to go in the coach store, which she never really wants to go to. We've never been in there before. We've never been in that one, but we go in the one when we're on Michigan Avenue in downtown Chicago. We do go in that one sometimes, but not all the time. It's not like a go-to, because Sarah's not a big purse person. Right, you guys know I don't care anything. Like so Peter she's like default, not a big coach person, but the coach does have other lines. She just not, haven't gotten into it yet, but they have a new, a very brand new, Dark came out Disney. yesterday. Yeah. Dark Disney line, super good. The most kick butt olive green jacket, jacket. snow white patches, so Bows Sarah. The, the but a military pocket. style, but like bow, Disney, yeah. super nice. $895. Sarah's like, I don't even remember how like, much it is as we're walking away. Snow White's my favorite. He was like, try it on the, the guy. The guy, the salesman. He was super nice, and like we walked away, and Sarah, we were looking at the purses, and Sarah's like, I don't even want to know how much it was. Like, I still worry. I looked at it and she's like, it was like 400? I'm like, oh no, way more. And she's like, 600? I'm like, no, keep going. She's like, eight? And I was like, a little bit more. 8.95. But I would say like, I don't know, we've never bought anything like that. The fanciest thing was probably like, besides our wedding stuff was like your Dooney. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure like it was super, super high quality, obviously. And super nice, but. But it's like so my style. Like I always wore like girly like bows and curls and stuff, but I always wear like combat boots. Like I, I wasn't always, thinking like, 895. Uh -huh. If it was four, I would consider it. Uh huh. Like find a way to get it and for a birthday. And they said he said he doesn't even get. A discount. Yeah, it's such an exclusive line that there's only like five coach stores in America so that have them right now. That's one of them, of course, and that they don't get their discount. <laughs> Girl can dream. One day, one day we'll get it. Thank you. Wait a minute. We walked past Wine Bar George and it looks like it's doing soft opening. What? I see a chef up there. The lights are on. There's people inside. Is the basket open too? It's like you can tell it's partially not, it's not fully open yet. Look at this. There's people sitting up there. Outside seating there. There's a construction hat right there. What? Training going on. So much fun being had. Should we see if we can get in? Just to walk around? Just to walk around? Yeah. Okay, so the woman at the front just informed us that it's only friends and family right now. So I don't know if that's George up there having a good time, but this opens up Friday. Just said sometime next week. But what's very cool is like Wine Bar George, like George. It's George's family that owns it. Like this isn't Disney that owns it. It's not Patina, which is the big management company that runs. Like Morimoto, Morimoto Edison, all that. She, the woman was like, Wine Bar George is the master song yet. And she, she kind of fit there. She's like, yeah, there's only like 200 something in the world. There's, there's, a, there's a lot, but not that, I mean like not a whole lot. Like, but he says he's here every single day. All right, here she goes. 
The whole reason is to go on the boats. Where are we gonna go to? Is this the old Key West one? I like a good stroll around Old Key West too. Oh, see if there's a movie. I did, I think it's Bambi. And it just started 10 minutes ago then. Even if we just swing by. Yeah, just swing by. What a bummer. We're waiting in line, we want to go to Old Key West. And then all of a sudden, the guy was like, I'm sorry, we're not running to Old Key West to shut down right now. We're like, that's weird. And we're like, fine, we'll go to Saratoga because the whole reason why we want to be here is to take a boat. And all of a sudden, and like he's a like, specific downtown Disney boat. Like, there's so many other boats, but I want to take these boats because they're my favorite boats. So he comes back from letting like close in the chain, and all of a sudden he's like, I'm so sorry, I just got the radio. Uh, we're shut down completely because it's starting to rain. So, which must mean I that there's lightning. there's lightning in the area. What if we do this, sir? What if we take? I don't know. We'll think about it, and then we'll come back to the vlog. Curse you, Nosferatu. And that. And aqua scum. We are leaving Disney Springs because literally, like, it just started raining and there's a lightning in the area, so the boats are shut down. That's you're here. And I looked in the weather app and it says, like, 100% chance of rain for the next, like, two and a half, three hours. So you figure might as well. Might as well home go home. Getting soaked. Stick sneak him up, puppy. Stick him up. Hey, hey, hey. Since all we were supposed to do today was for Sarah's birthday celebration day of the week, we were supposed to go on the boats. And since we can't do that because it's raining. It's lightning. It's lightning. We're gonna watch Series of Unfortunate Events. And if you've been watching just a few days ago, we talked about how Sarah's been all about it and I have not been about it. But we're gonna sit down and we're gonna watch it because Sarah wants to. And I'm gonna make some tea. And we made popcorn with our what is this thing even called? Our whirly pop? I forgot we had this thing, so... We realized it's like perfect, because we can make just plain popcorn, which is what our typical treat is for Eve. And then we can spice it up for ourselves. So... Awesome. Hello, 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 children. Look at how these two fell asleep. While we're watching the TV. That is the most adorable thing ever. I gotta wake him up and I hope Eve stays sleepy. But I can't let Sarah sleep like that all night or else she'll wake up super sore. Sorry, I have different lights on so it sounds bright, but I don't want to wake up the puppy and Sarah. Because I got them in the bedroom and I got in Eve in there like a little sleeping baby. Without waking her up, so hopefully she just stays asleep. She's been like knocked out with Sarah on the couch for like an hour and a half. So I'm nervous if she wakes up, she'll be like ready to go. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. Thanks for joining us today. It was a different day because of the rain, but we still had a fun little quick trip to Disney Springs and fun night at home. So it was like the best of both worlds. So it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>